Welcome to Storytime. I'm Pear, and this is my co-host, Orange. I'm also his best friend. False. One of his closest friends? Nope. His imaginary friend. If only. Today we'll be reading one of my all-time favorite stories, Beauty and the Beast. Orange, do you promise not to ruin the story? I never do. You always do. I enhance the stories. I give them a little extra juice. <laughs> Fortunately, this is one of the greatest stories of all time, so we probably won't need much juice. Now then, once upon a time, there was a prince who was beautiful on the outside, but ugly on the inside. Yeah, because he was actually a lizard person in disguise. <laughs> That's not what I mean, Orange. I mean... The prince was a really mean, rude person, and that's why he and his entire castle were put under a spell and turned into things like candlesticks and clocks. And food? Oh, were any of them turned into food? Well, maybe. I guess I don't really know what happened to every last member of the staff. Oh my gosh, Pear, do you think we're under a spell? Do you think we're actually royal people who got turned into food? No. That would explain so much. No, it wouldn't. I'm thinking I was probably the court jester, and that's why I'm so funny. Oh, if the jester was actually a lizard person in disguise, that would explain why I could touch my tongue to my eye. <laughs> Orange, stop. I will not allow this to become canon. Can we get back to the story, please? I guess. I think people lick my story better, though. <laughs> uh, anyway... Everyone was cursed to remain in their non-human forms forever, unless... What do you mean I'm going to be this way forever? I'm not going to get my human stuff back? My arms? My legs? My social security number? Orange, for the last time, we were never people. You are not a character in this story. All right, because they're actually lizard people. They are not lizard people. This is just a story. Hmm, maybe we should just jump to the end. Fine by me. I can't wait to get this train wreck over with. So about the ending, spoiler alert, everyone. Turns out the beast was the beauty all along, and beauty was actually the beast. What? Yep. The moral of the story is that it's a twist ending. That is not how it ends. The beast was not the beauty all along. All right, because he was a lizard person all along. He was not a lizard person. Of course he was. Think about it, Pear. Why do you think they call it a fairy tale, huh? Because lizards. It's because they're all lizards. Pear, open your eyes. No. Nah, come on. Open your eyes, why? And try and touch them with your fourth lizard tongue. <laughs> And we're officially off the rails in record time. Congrats, Orange. You did it again. You ruined another classic story. You think Disney will make my lizard version into a movie next? I think it'll be more likely that Disney will sue you for ruining one of the greatest stories ever told. Nah, they wouldn't do that, would they? That would be so cold-blooded. <laughs> Get it? Because lizards are cold-blooded? Oh, we are so done here. Watch me touch my tongue to my eyeball. Ah. Oh, no. 